everyone, it's Kayla Steenuk with another review here, and this time I'm putting together a little something that I got from CT, uh, Mike, and I'm going to have the freeze-dried sp spaghetti with meat and sauce, I'm going to have this uh, more type to hot weather with it, and I'm going to have the peanut butter dessert bar because I've been really wanting to try that and I know that these moors don't have hot drinks with them so I got yeah I can pick it up uh forest fruits tea which is out of I do believe a Norwegian ration if I remember correctly and I'm going to use a Splenda so I'm going to actually get that going just put that in there, and then I will put the tea bag in there. Ah, there we go. I'm stuck from within. Come on. There we go. Mmm. I love fruit teas, so I think I'm going to really like this. Just get it donked so it sinks. There we go. Now that's going to steep nicely. Now, before we do anything else, I'm going to open this and I'm going to get it going. And I don't have a knife with me. I am using my scissors. Okay, now, do you hear a hiss? Did I cut it down low enough? I didn't cut it low enough. I always try to cut it as high as possible so that I can fold it over. Will there be a hiss? No, there was no hiss, but, ooh, that looks good. You know, it's funny. I don't eat pasta now, except when I do reviews. It's the only time I eat pasta, but I'm actually going to try this like that. Oh, that's actually really good. Now, mmm, Mountain House, it says 16 ounces of water which I have, and because this is spaghetti, yeah, it's supposed to be saucy, so I am going to add the full amount. Usually I won't, but I will this time. And I have a little trick that I learned from, oh, I do believe it was G. Schultz, using a chopstick to mix the freeze-dried ration up. It allows you to get into the little corners, and you don't end up with any dry spots, so. Okay. Now. It says, well, let's stand for 10 minutes, so I will fold that over. I have a nice clip. One would think I like the color orange or something. <laughs> But I prefer green. I just didn't have the scissors in green, and that happens to be the orange clip out of that. But, okay, next thing I'm going to open up is this, which has me so curious because I've never even seen this one before. Um, is there a date on here? There is. 8-138. So that is either 2018, the 138th day, or... 138th day of 2008. I do believe it's 18, though. Oh. Oh, wow. This is interesting. Ooh, I can smell the peanut. It's just... Wow. Okay. I'm going to have to take this off camera for a sec to get a wrapper off of it. It quite literally is just peanut butter and the other ingredients pressed together in a bar. It is very pliable and, and very much like peanut butter. So let's open this. And then we can peel it out and I will put it there. That is... 
completely not where I was expecting. I was expecting kind of like a Reese's peanut butter bar contraption, you know, where it was covered in chocolate, but it's not. And it's really good. I just ate some of the stuff that was stuck on the wrapper, which, no, you're not going to see it, but I will be after I'm finished the video. I'm going to be slurping that stuff off the wrapper. That's good. Okay. We, I just checked the time, so I know how long to wait for. Okay, this is not wanting to open nicely for me. The hair strip didn't work. I'm trying to cut it. Okay, to get it started at least. Ugh. Oh my goodness, this package does not want me to get into it. No, you can't, you can't. I'm like, no, I need to. It's my dinner. I have to get into it. Okay. So there's what's left of that package, which I guess I won't be saving. Okay. This is caffeinated chocolate pudding. Yay! I love this stuff. There is the Mixed Berry Energy Gel. That's really good stuff, too. I like that. I like all of the energy gel. Cranberries Osmotic. Now, these have a ton of extra sugar added to them. I can't eat these, so I'm going to pass on them. I will be sending them off to somebody else. We've got Beverage Base Orange Powder. Now, apparently, there's two drinks in here. There's the orange and this one is the lemon lime. So I do have a second glass here. I wasn't sure if they were going to be the same flavor or different. And then everybody's favorite cheddar cheese pretzels, also known as combos. So now, I am not mixing these up in the uh, bag. They're going to be poured into the water and mixed in there. Because I find these bags, it just doesn't work very well for me. Okay. This one is the lemon lime. Okay. Much less dust, I found, if you pour it into the water like that, than if you pour it into the glass and then add the water to it. You get so much more dust if you do it that way. Okay, so now we are going to do this one. orange and it's looking like kinetic sand like before the orange takes longer to mix into really cold water than the other flavors do I've noticed but that's okay because this lemon lime is almost all mixed in already there's still a little bit of sugar in the bottom but not much this is kinetic sand for now, but it will mix in. And right now it's actually looking very peachy instead of orange, but it'll take a few mixes. By the time the uh, spaghetti is done, that'll be fine. Okay, so now we've got let me just move that there. We've got our throw some juice on that. We've got our cheddar cheese pretzels. Hair notches are not liking me tonight. Mmm, combos. I'm going to put them in here. Those, these ones are my favorite. Just the plain cheddar cheese combos. 
and then we can open the caffeinated pudding. Caffeinated chocolate pudding, that's always good. And I have, because neither of these came with a spoon, I have my foreignemory.com spork. So I'll be using that. I'm going to try this chocolate right now. Oh, I didn't cut it low enough. The tear notch was way too high. And I cut below that, and it still wasn't low enough. Okay, now we'll try this. I know it's low enough now. Come on. You know you want to come out. Oh, yeah. Chocolate pudding with caffeine. Mm -mm -mm. That is good. I really like the caffeinated pudding. And no, I'm not going to put it out into the tray because then I can't eat it all. I'm going to be a barbarian. And when I'm done eating what I can squeeze out, I'm going to cut the whole thing open and lick the inside. So I don't lose any. Okay. Mixed Berry Energy Gel. So I think I kind of picked the wrong time of day to do this one because it's dinner time. <laughs> I'm going to be up all night. Wing! Oh, look at that. There's the juicy part of it. Mm. And there's the gel. Mm. It's jello on steroids. Been fortified, uh, extra energy stuff added to it. Oh, I have no napkins in this either, so I'm going to have to reach up here and grab some of my Christmas napkins. <laughs> Made the work. I got some energy gel on my fingers. Sticky. Okay, now, see how soft that is? It's like just peanut butter, but it's got, um, from what I've tasted already, it has uh, the, um, it has peanuts in it too. Because you get the crunch of the peanuts. Yeah, dry roasted peanuts. Uh, cream powder, non-fat dry milk, peanut butter, citric acid. Mmm, that's so good. I love that. But then, if you don't like peanut butter, you will not like it at all. But if you're like me who eats peanut butter by the spoonful, you're going to love that. I'm just giving this a check and a stir, and yeah, I'm glad I added the full amount of water because it doesn't appear soupy at all. And there is still some, we've still got about five minutes left on it, so I'm going to leave that sit. There is actually beef in there, and it's not beef with um, TSP in it. So there is soy in it, but not in the uh, meat. Now let's have a combo. Mm -hmm. Combos are good. Oh, wait, I have a moist towelette from a. Uh, previous ration here that I haven't used, so I can use this for my fingers. But a sticky, because I got me the sticky fingers. Okay. Nice and very wet, so that's good. 
Now dry my hands off on the napkin. Okay, let's give this another stir. It's mostly dissolved. This gets one more. Okay, now that tea is nicely steeped, so we are going to take the bag out. Put it over here. No, I didn't squeeze it, and I didn't squeeze it because I don't want my tea tasting bitter. It does make it a little bitter. Mmm. Wow. I'm going to try this tea, the forest fruit. Mmm. Forest fruit tea. And it looks like there's blackberry, strawberry, cherry, um, raspberry, um, red currants, and possibly mint in it. And it, you can taste them all. Very subtle, but a very nice tea. I would drink that on a regular basis. I'd like to make that into iced tea. Um, okay, we'll try the lemon lime. Because it's all mixed in. There's nothing, no sediment on the bottom. All the sugar dissolved. I like lemon lime drink. It's good. Now one more stir. Yeah, there's a few little chunkies, but it's mostly mixed. I know it's the orange that does that. There we go. That's perfect. And one more bite of this, and then the spaghetti is ready. <clears throat> Just had to have one more bite. Okay. Mountain House Spaghetti with Meat Sauce. Oh, look at that. That's a lot of food. Wow. And I got it all out. So. Wow. That's a ton of food for me. But I will eat all of it. Let me see. So there it is. Some. Well, I've got pasta and sauce. I didn't have the meat. There we go. There's a little bit of everything, pasta, sauce, meat, teeny weeny little spaghetti noodles, but that's okay. Mmm. Oh, that's good. I've never had this one before, and it's good, and it rehydrated perfectly. The pasta is not mushy. The itty bitty meat crumbles have got a nice texture to them, but there's but there's no crunch in the middle. Very very good. Ah, uh, I really like that. I'm actually gonna do a little bit of putting just the crumbles of the pretzels in there. See how that tastes. That's nice. It gives it a little crunch if you want crunch. Or you could rehydrate it for less time and get the crunch that way too. But wow, that's good. That's a lot of food there. Yes, I will eat it all. Now, I will eat all my sides and drink all my drinks, but um, I'm going to leave it here with you guys because I want to eat this while it's still hot. Um, I love you all so much. Thank you for watching, and thank you for the support that I've been given from this community. I love you all so very much. Please check out all the links in my description below for all the channels that I watch. 
Um, and if you want to send me something, you can. My email address is below, or you can uh, take a look at my Amazon.ca wish list. Now, for those, um, if you're in the states and you want to use that, send me something. If you've got Prime in the states, it doesn't work in Canada. You'd have to have Prime in Canada for doing Prime shipping, but you can still order it. Um, Okay, love you all so much. Thank you all for watching. Bye.